Yo, what up guys? In this video, I will teach you how to create dynamic falling leaves just like I did in the intro. You can really apply this method and make anything fall within Cinema 4D. I know I've done it for several of my projects. I divided the process into three main steps. Finding a good image on Google, photoshopping it to make it work within Cinema 4D, and finally throwing it in a cloner and adding gravity and dynamics to it. Let's go. All right, so open up a new page in Google and you're going to search tree leaf, which I have here already. And you are going to look for something similar to this. It could be um, a PNG or a JPEG. It doesn't really matter. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use this one. Right click it, save image as, and I'm going to make a new folder for it. Name it leaf texture or whatever. Green leaf, save. From here, we are on to step two. Open up the folder where you just saved your leaf. Right click your image, launch it with uh, Photoshop. Boom. And here we have a green leaf, but in my scene, I had orange leaves and also yellow leaves. So I'm just going to make two variations of this. But first things first, we got to make this a transparent image, sort of like a PNG. And to do that, all I got to do is unlock the image by double clicking, hitting OK. Go to the right here, click select subject, then remove background hit OK and you could have easily skipped that step if you found a good PNG but if not here we have it and from here all we got to do is color correct it to the color that we want it so I'm going to go to my leaf here click it hit Control U or command U if you're still on Mac and from here just move your hue slider to the right or left and choose the color that you want and I think that red is cool I'm just gonna hit OK now that I have my leaf I'm just gonna do a quick PNG export. I'm going to save it as red leaf and hit save. Since I want two leaves, I'm just going to select the subject again, hit control U again and make a yellow one. I'm going to saturate it just a bit and that's pretty cool. Maybe a little darker. Perfect. Hit OK. Then just like the other one, I'm going to do a quick PNG export on it and name it yellow leaf. Hit save. So now that we have both our textures, we're going to need an alpha channel and it's pretty easy to do. Click select subject, control U, and you're going to make it completely white. Then you can see that our leaf is selected. We're going to go ahead and deselect it by hitting control D. We are going to add another layer, bring the layer under the leaf, grab our brush tool and make sure we have black selected and paint that layer completely black and that's our alpha channel we're gonna go ahead and export that as a png again and i'm going to name it alpha channel click save from here we're moving into cinema 4d which is also step three let's go ahead and launch it all right so we finally reached the good part of the tutorial first thing we're going to do is grab a plane and we are going to match the dimensions of the plane to our leaf pngs the dimensions for our pngs happen to be 900 by 600 so let's do 900 by 600 and I know it's kind of huge real life leaf but we can just change the size later I'm going to rotate this just so I can see it better and it could be upright zoom out then we are going to go into our octane materials create diffuse material open up that material go into node editor make this a little bit bigger open up our leaf folder and i'm going to grab our yellow and alpha channel pictures drag and drop them separate them this is our leaf texture and we're going to pipe that into the diffuse and our alpha channel is going to be piped into the opacity just like that go ahead and close this and drag and drop that texture into our plane and we have our leaf and you're probably wondering well kevin that has the background on it what the hell and yes yes it does but if you open up a uh, octane render engine as you can see thanks to that alpha channel we created there's no background the cinema 40 viewport just displays like that because i'm assuming it's a little bit more efficient for the cpu instead of having to cut out the little edges for every single corner on the leaf and in real Life. leaves are hardly ever this perfectly straight so let's add some twist and bend to it go up here and grab a twist and we are going to make it a child of our leaf click twist go into those settings and select fit to parent and we have our effect covering our leaf as you can see it's not doing anything yet that's because we have to increase the angle but if we up the angle all it does is rotate the leaf so instead of doing that fit to parent i'm just gonna move that effect a little bit to the side just like that and now increase and as you can see we're getting a little bit of bend in our leaf and once i up the angle a little bit i can just adjust this however i want to make it look like a realistic leaf you can also to add a little 
little more variation add a bend into it also click on it also select a parent and increase the strength and the angle a little bit and move that effect a little bit and that'll give us pretty decent leaf so now onto the orange one all we gotta do is duplicate our first one hit control and drag and drop it i'm going to name it orange leaf and the first one yellow leaf i'm gonna go back to my orange leaf select my move tool and drag that to the side so i can see both zoom out a little bit now i'm going to duplicate this octane material by hitting control and dragging it over double clicking it opening up node editor and replace that yellow leaf texture with our orange or red leaf texture hit open hit yes close that up and then close that up and i'm going to drag and drop that red slash orange texture into our leaf and boom we have two different leaves i'm going to change the red one just a little bit by maybe increasing the twist and also maybe moving that effect a little bit higher i don't know that that looks weird but that's fine oh yeah that looks really weird so i'm just gonna decrease the effect a little bit and move it a little higher cool like i said it looks a little weird but it'll work so now that i have two decently made leaves all i'm going to do is make a cloner grab both of those leaves and throw them both in there then go into my cloner settings by clicking on it make sure you're on a grid array and up the count so for this project i'm just gonna do four five and four i'm going to zoom out because i'm about to spread these everywhere i'm gonna set this to 1800 this one to 3000 and the last one to 2900 and just like that we have a, a massive assortment of yellow and orange leaves cool let's add a little bit of variation okay to add some variation we're gonna go into MoGraph effector and add a random effector let's go into our random settings go into parameter select scale check uniform scale and change the different variation to 0.5 or something and that kind of just gave random sizes to all of our leaves cool now let's rotate them a little bit by checking rotation again in our random settings i'm going to do 80 70 60 and boom now we're getting somewhere pretty cool right they still look a little weird so you can just mess with the twist and the bend of each to your liking but i'm just gonna leave it like that it's cool whatever now i'm going to give this some dynamics by going into our cloner right clicking it simulation tags and giving it a rigid body tag but first let's zoom out a little bit i'm going to add a floor by making a plane again and i'm going to make it a lot bigger i think that's big enough now i'm going to give it a collider body right click the plane simulation tags and select collider body I'm going to adjust my view here a little bit and i'm going to bring my entire cloner so that it is not being cut off by the floor and they could actually fall and hit the floor zoom out a little bit and hit play and as you can see our leaves are falling extremely slow that's because they are huge so a quick fix is hitting Control d to open up project settings go into dynamics and i'm going to change my gravity to something a little bit higher and that's only if your simulation is going super slow because i left them super big but as you can see it's finally kind of working so i'm gonna rewind that and give it a little more gravity if for whatever reason your simulation is going a little bit too fast go into your rigid body options then into force and increase drag to whatever you want and that should make it a little bit slower okay we replay this back we can see that everything's falling together and we want them to individually sway with the wind or whatever to fix that all we got to do is up the lift right here to about 100 now if we replay that you can see that you can see that the leaves are falling individually or whatever now all that's left to do is go to collision under individual elements select top level and if you're having issues where your leaves or whatever are going through the floor you can change the shape to moving mesh on default on automatic but you just gotta set it to moving mesh and you'll have slightly better results you can hit Control d again and that will bring up your project settings so go into expert changes to 10 and the next one to 20 and you'll have better results that way say you wanted to have a little bit of wind all you would do to add the wind is go under simulate forces at the very bottom you'll have wind and basically this is just like a little fan that you can put anywhere and increase the speed by several hundred or tens whatever works for your scene and just like that you have a little fan blowing the winds to the left and that's pretty much it guys you're pretty much done i know every scene is different so you really gotta just play around with it and see what works for your scene but that's basically the theory behind doing dynamic wind with falling leaves thank you for watching let me know whatever you want to learn next i'm always in the comments replying to you guys or trying to at least please consider subscribing Thank you guys.